One half of the students in a school are girls. One half of the schools are girls. Three-fifths of these girls are studying in lower classes. What fraction of girls are studying in lower classes? One half of the students in a school are girls. So one half. Three-fifths of these girls are studying in a lower class. So therefore, um, one half um, multiply it with three-fifths. So if you multiply one half and three fifth will give us um, three ten, three ten. So what fraction of girls are studying in lower classes? So it's three ten. Okay. Simply we will get the three fifth from one half. Multiply um, three times one numerator to numerator, then denominator to denominator. Continue. How many irrational numbers are there in 1 and 6? So, irrational numbers. Um, irrational numbers. Those cannot be expressed in a fraction. So, let's try infinitely many. Correct? The correct response, this is the correct response, infinitely many. The rational numbers, irrational numbers are uh, there in 1 and 6. If you chose this answer, you know 1 and 6 are real numbers and that there are an infinite number of irrational numbers between two real numbers. So, negative numbers are included. Continue. Which fraction is equal to 0.20%? Okay. It's a conversion of a percent to a uh, to a fraction so first 0 0.20 is in percent so move decimal move the decimal um, two places to the right two places to the right so it will become 0 0.2 zeros 0 0.002 in which so there will be three decimal places 0 0.002 so the death the the decimal place will be tens hundreds thousand so it will become 20 all over thousand 20 all over thousand simplify it simplify the 20 all over thousand will simply give us let's try um, on all over 50 let's try oh it's 1 over 500 oh it's it becomes from 0.20 percent it becomes 0 0.002 and tens hundreds thousand ah, it's 1 all over 500 if we will simplify 20 all over 1000 Tens, hundreds, thousand will give us um, 500. Continue. Nori ran five and a half miles Monday. Six, one fourth miles Tuesday. Four and a half miles Wednesday. And two, 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 three fourth miles on Thursday. What's the average number of miles now we ran? Simply add these first fractions, add these fractions, and divide the number, the number of days. So there are four: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Ah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Four <clears throat> divided by add all the number of miles and divide it by four. <clears throat> so let's try um, four and a half, four three four. Let's try four three four. It's very near. The longer the problem, another technique in answering if is that the longer the problem, the longer the problem, the the 
possible, the probability of getting the correct answer is, is to those choices near, near. So it could, if it is a multiple choice, it could be either A or B, the answer. So for three, four, very near to the problem. To find the average, add the miles run each day, add those miles. Simply um, recalling your lesson about um, adding mixed fractions and divide the number of days. So to add the fractions, use a common denominator of four. So the answer is four and three, four. Next, you decide to dye your hair various colors for Halloween. If you dye one third of it blue, one fourth for pink, and one fourth for black. So you may have a color of different colors of your hair for your Halloween costume. How much of your original hair color is left? Simply. Let's add only the these fractions. Recall your lesson on um, adding fractions. So let's try five six. Okay, it's five six. First, we need to find out what fraction of your hair is dyed. Okay. Simply add the the, the common denominator. It's twelve. So. It's 5 all over 6. That means you have colored 5 all over 6. Next, a mango is cut into 10 slices. If Eric ate 7 slices and his sister ate 2 slices, what part of the mango did they eat? So it becomes 9 all over 10. 9 all over 10? Let's try. Okay, correct. It's 9 all over 10. They'll give us... Um, it's very obvious. Next. What is 70.3 divided by 10? 7.3 divided by 10. If we're dealing with um, zeros and a whole number, the 10 is a whole number. So let's move the decimal to the right. So it could be, so it will be 7.03. Let's try. Okay. Just move decimal place to the right. So therefore 7.03. To the right, uh, it's to the left. What does D represent in Roman numeral system? So it's simply uh, because 500. D. For 100, it's C. For 1,000, it's M. For 50, it's... Uh, I forget for 50. Uh, 1,000, it's M. 50... L. 50 is L. 100 is C. Peter can mow the loan in 40 minutes. And John can mow the loan in 60 minutes. How long will it take then... How long will it take for them to mow the loan together? Peter can mow the loan in 40 minutes and John can mow the loan in 60 minutes. How long will it take for them to mow the loan together? Mm, just simply add that other time but it will become 100 minutes. But that's in the that is not in the choices. So let's simply um, get the average. Forty minutes plus sixty minutes will give us um, one hundred divided by two. It's if uh, fifty minutes. But it's not that is not in the choices. Hmm. Let's try thirty minutes. Okay, twenty-four minutes. How? Assign variables. Let x be the time to mow loan together. Okay. Use the formula. 1 over 40 plus 1 over 60. Get the LCD of 40 and 60. That is 120. Multiply both sides um, by doing the um, adding of um, the similar fractions. We will arrive um, 624. 
the x is 24 the time taken for both of them to mow the loam together is 24 minutes continue 20% of 2 is equal to so simply um, your 20% make let us make this into decimal so it will become 0 0.2 move decimal to the left so it becomes 0 0.2 multiply it with 2 will give us 4 uh, it's 0.4 it's 0.4 check 0 0.4 a herd of cows gives 4 liters of milk each day, but each cow gives one third of total milk each day. They give 24 little liters milk in 6 days. How many cows are there in the herd? <clears throat> so simply by getting um, one third a herd of cows we do not know the number here we do not know the number of cows we do not know we do not know the number of cows it's on a herd a group of cows and a group of cows only produce four liters in one day and each cow will give one third of the total milk each day so therefore one third multiply it by four four liters then how many cows are there um, I will show you later how this was arrived let's try four. Oh, it's three a herd of cows four liters of milk each day so get the one third of four four liters so you have already four third of milk each day. Then divide it by um, to get the total number of cows. Divide four liters into three four. Ah, get the to get the total number of cows by simply dividing four liters with four third because that is only the amount of milk that a cow can give four third. So, reverse reciprocal of 4 third, which is 3 fourth, will simply give us 3. There are 3 cows in A. I will show you this on how to compute this. In a small company, average salary of 3 employees is 1,000 pesos per week. If one employee earns 1,100 and the other earns 500 pesos, how much will the third employee earn? Again, the average. The average is just simply adding uh, add the number of salaries add the salaries and then divided by the number of employees that's the average salary of three employees so divided by three so 1000 divided by three that's the average ah the average that's already the average the average salary of three employees is 1000 1000 per week so now how much will the third employee earn so simply first employee plus second employee plus third employee divided by 3 will give us 1000 pesos per week if the first employee is 1100 the second employee is 500 pesos the third employee will be x it will become x so i will show you how how this was arrived so let's try to answer 1400 correct okay i will show you this how um, it was arrived in 1,400. But let's continue. What is the algebraic expression for the sum of x and 9? So simply x plus 9. Combine terms 12a plus 26b minus 4b 
minus 16a. So simply combining all um, terms with same variable. So combine 12a and negative 16a and together with 26b minus 4b which will simply give us negative 4a and positive 22b. I will show you this how. What is the cube root of 216? It means to say um, it's a multiplication of multiplying a number three, for three times. So example, 1 times 1 will give us 1 times 1, simply 1. So the cube root of 1 is 1. So now, how about the cube root of 116? Uh, let's try 4. Oh, it's 6. It's 6. 6 times 6, that's 6 times 6, 260. Simple. In his pocket, a boy has 3 red marbles, um, 4 blue marbles, and 4 green marbles. How many will he have to take out of his pocket to ensure that he has um, taken out at least one of each color? So, you say you will be taking more to have at least um, one of each color. The one of each color. So, you have three colors. Three colors. Then multiply it with three probabilities of three colors and you want to um, get at least three of colors also so therefore let's multiply three times not three three times three will give us nine okay that's taking out of three of each color will ensure that he has one of each color thus he needs to take out nine marbles in all so in probability you have three colors and you want to get at least three colors so therefore multiply three times three will give us nine continue four all over seven of a number is 80, 84 find the number okay let our number be our x so therefore four x all over seven is equals 84 for x all over 7 will give us 4. Simply multiply 7 times 84 and then divide it by 4. Okay? So we will not use computation. I will show you how this was alive. Let's try um, 120. Okay? It's 140. Multiply 84 by the reciprocal of 4 and 7. I will show you how this. What is the greatest common factor of 42, 126, and 210? 42, 126, and 210. The greatest common factor. It can be 2. Yes. It can be 14. It can be 21. 42. But let's try the 2. Okay, it's... 42. 42 is the correct answer since it is the largest number that is a factor of all three numbers. So, 42 is common to 42, 126, and 210. You can find the greatest common factor by writing up the prime factorization. The very basic prime factorization is 1 and 2. Uh, of all the three numbers and then taking each number prime factors to the lowest term. So, that's why.